Google just dropped Gemini 3.0 flash and it's absolutely wild. Pro level thinking at flash speed, way more efficient than Gemini 3 Pro. This thing is already live in your Gemini app right now. It's crushing coding benchmarks and it's making AI agents way more accessible to run. This changes everything for anyone building with AI. They took pro level intelligence and made it as fast as flash. Then they made it way more efficient than what Gemini 3 Pro offers and they rolled it out everywhere. It's already the default fast option in your Gemini app. It's in Google search. It's in the API. You can use it right now. So what does that actually mean? It means you can now get frontier level AI reasoning at speeds that make sense for real apps. Think about chat apps. Think about AI agents that need to run thousands of tasks. Think about anything where you need smart answers fast and you want efficient performance every single time. Let me break down what makes this so different. Gemini 3 Flash sits between the cheap fast models and the expensive smart models, but it basically closes that gap. You're getting pro-grade multimodal reasoning. That means it can handle images, text, code, all of it, and it does it with way lower latency. Google says it's faster than Gemini 2.5 and more efficient than Gemini 3 Pro. That's the sweet spot everyone's been waiting for. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now here's where it gets interesting, the benchmarks. Google is showing strong numbers on tests like GPQA and MMU Pro. These are hard reasoning tests. And on coding tests like SWE Bench Verified, it's actually beating some earlier Pro versions. That's wild. A flash model outperforming Pro on certain agentic coding tasks. That tells you they really focused on making this thing good at developer workflows. So where can you actually use this thing? It's rolling out wide. It's the default fast option in the Gemini app. Hey, that means when you open Gemini and you're chatting, you might be talking to Flash without even knowing it. It's in Google search AI mode. It's in the Gemini API and Google AI Studio. It's in Vertex AI. It's in the Gemini CLI tool. And it's in anti-gravity, which is Google's agent platform. That last one is key because if you're building AI agents, this changes your workflow completely. Let's talk about what's actually new under the hood. They improved multimodal function responses. That means the model can now respond with images or structured data in ways it couldn't before. The visual and spatial reasoning got better. So if you're feeding it documents, handwriting, complex images is handling those better than the old flash models. And they built it specifically for agentic workflows. That's why the SWE bench scores are so good. They want developers using this for automation, for code generation, for building tools that run a lot of API calls. Think about the use cases, real time chat. You need fast responses, low latency matters. Flash gives you that with smarter answers than the old fast models. AI agents, you're running hundreds or thousands of calls per day. Efficiency matters, flash delivers better performance than before. Multimodal tasks, you're processing invoices, contracts, customer support tickets with images and text. Flash can handle that faster than pro and more efficiently. That's where this thing shines. And if you want to scale your business and automate tasks with AI tools like Google Gemini, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to use cutting edge models like this to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. You'll learn exactly how to integrate tools like Gemini 3 Flash into your workflows and actually get results with them. Link is in the description. Now, let me talk about something most people miss, developer tooling. Google released this with the Gemini CLI in preview. That's a command line tool where you can call Gemini models right from your terminal. And they updated all the Vertex AI docs. They added code snippets. They made it easy to integrate because they know developers are the ones who will push this thing to its limits. If you're building products, you need to check out the API docs. The rate limits are higher than Pro. The performance is better. That's a big deal for production apps. Here's what I think is happening. Google is positioning Flash as the default model for most tasks, not Pro Flash, because Flash is now good enough for almost everything. And when you need that extra reasoning power, you step up to Pro. But for most real world apps, Flash hits the right balance of speed, efficiency and intelligence. That's a smart move. It makes Gemini way more competitive with other models that have been dominating the fast and efficient category. Let's talk benchmarks for a second. Google shared numbers on GPQA, MMMU Pro and SWE Bench Verified. The coverage from tech sites like The Verge and TechCrunch confirms these are competitive scores. But here's the thing, benchmarks are one slice of truth. They don't tell you everything. Real world performance matters more. And from what we're seeing in early developer feedback, this thing is solid. 
it's fast, it's accurate. Now here's something you need to know if you're building with AI. This is in preview, that means Google is still tweaking it. The documentation says Gemini 3 flash preview, so expect some changes, but it's stable enough that they made it the default in the Gemini app. That tells you they're confident and they're pushing developers to start using it now. So what does this mean for the AI landscape? It means Google is making a big push to be the go-to provider for fast, efficient, smart AI. They're not just competing on the high end with Pro, they're competing across the whole stack, and Flash is their weapon for winning over developers who care about efficiency and speed. If you're using Claude or GPT for tasks where you don't need the absolute best reasoning, Flash might be more efficient and faster. That's the pitch. Let's talk about multimodal. Flash handles images really well. Google improved the visual reasoning. That means if you're feeding it screenshots, diagrams, handwritten notes, it's getting better at understanding what's in there. And it can respond with images or structured data. That opens up new use cases. Think about customer support. You upload a screenshot of an error. Flash analyzes it and gives you a fix. Fast, cheap, accurate, that's powerful. Here's another thing, spatial reasoning. Flash got better at understanding physical space in images. So if you're working with floor plans, maps, diagrams, showing how things connect, is handling those better. Google calls this out specifically in their docs. That's not a random feature, that's them targeting industries like construction, logistics, real estate, places where you need AI to understand 2D and 3D space. The agentic coding stuff is huge. SVB Bench Verified is a test where the model has to actually fix bugs in real GitHub repos is hard and Flash is scoring high. That means it's not just writing code, it's debugging, it's understanding context, it's making changes that actually work. If you're building coding agents or tools that auto-generate pull requests, this matters. You can now do it cheaper and faster with Flash instead of Pro. Google also mentioned anti-gravity. That's their agent platform. It's where you build AI agents that do tasks for you, book meetings, scrape data, process documents, whatever. And now those agents can run on Flash instead of Pro. That makes them way more accessible. If you're running an agency or a business that uses AI agents for client work, that's a massive improvement. You can scale way faster. Now here's what you should do. If you're building apps with AI, go test Flash. It's in the API now. Google AI Studio lets you try it for free, spin up a project, run some prompts, see how it compares to what you're using now. Check the latency, check the quality, and check the performance because if it's good enough, you just found a way to make your AI workflows way more efficient. That's huge. Google is clearly betting big on Flash. They made it the default in the Gemini app. That's a user facing product. Millions of people use it. They're not gonna make Flash the default unless they're confident it's good. So this isn't some experimental side project. This is Google saying Flash is now our main model for most tasks. Pro is there when you need it, but Flash is the workhorse. Here's my take. This is Google making a move to own the developer ecosystem. They're giving you a model that's fast, efficient, and smart. They're giving you a CLI tool. They're updating the docs. They're building agent platforms. They're making it as easy as possible to build with Gemini. And Flash is the center of that strategy. If you're not paying attention to this, you're missing a big shift. And if you wanna scale your business and automate tasks with AI tools like Google Gemini, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to use cutting edge models like this to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. You'll learn exactly how to integrate tools like Gemini 3 Flash into your workflows and actually get results with them. Link is in the description. If you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.